Hi guys, so today I am filming something super exciting and I'm in a really good mood right now because I am going home tomorrow. I am going back to Australia for the first time in over two years. I get to see my family, I get to see my home, I get to see Perth. I am just like over the moon about it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because probably my mom. It's 9 p.m. at night. I should be packing my suitcase, but instead I'm filming a video because I love you guys and there is an offer that I have for you in this specific video. Today I'm going to be talking about the best of the best, the creme de la creme, the just top tier of Zerzhov perfumes for women. Now I have a huge collection of Zerzhov fragrances. As you guys know, it is truly one of the best niche brands in my eyes. And I think a lot of people in the industry also agree with this in terms of niche brands. And this is not actually a sponsored video whatsoever. We are going to have a little discount code going on, which I cannot wait to share with you guys. And it has been highly requested, but all things aside, Truly, truly, like I cannot imagine somebody buying a Zerzhov and being disappointed in the fragrance, the quality, the packaging, anything. Like I really find it hard to believe that this brand is not what it seems to be. The brand is really capturing the essence of luxury. Zerzhov is a luxury brand. It is a niche brand. All of their juices smell really, really unique, really special and really high quality. And that's something that I really adore about this brand, Zerzhov. So anyways, I know that sounded like a sponsored rant. It was completely not. I just want to tell you guys that if you could put your money somewhere in a niche brand, I would say 100% Zerzhov is in the top five of all time of niche brands. So really trust me on this one. Zerzhov is worth the investment. I know they're expensive, but you're getting the most beautiful packaging. Like just look at the bottles. Like they're heavy. The caps are beautiful. They come in a beautiful, uh, luxurious box. It's just everything. So for me, I just really think the brand embodies luxury completely and it's really worth your money. I heard your calls. I heard your requests. I heard it. And I reached out to Zerzhov again and asked them if we could do another discount code. And we have been speaking about it now since the beginning of the year because they actually wanted to do it a little earlier, but I had so many things on my plate that I was like, let's wait a little bit and then we can go on with the discount code because I know how many of you wanted a third discount code. We have already done two. You guys bought a lot. You guys sold them out of a lot of things and let's do a third one. So from the 12th to the 16th of April, so five days, there will be another special exclusive discount code. It is 10% off all of the Zerzhov Universe website, anything you buy is 10% off. Plus you're gonna get a free 15 ml perfume, which comes in a beautiful box. It's so cute, the little 15 ml. It's like this, it looks exactly like this, but a little mini bottle. So it's like a little 15 ml, but you're still getting the full perfume. I am really, really, really looking forward to it. I, that's why I wanted to film this video so that I could get it out to you guys and you guys could know about this discount. Um, and anyways, let's just get into this video. I'm gonna share with you guys all of the best of the best. Like I said, creme de la creme, chef's kiss, all of the best Zerzhov's, let's go. So I think I'm gonna start with a little familiar face since you guys already know this one. It is Bouquet Idylle. Now I just adore this fragrance. It's still in my top, top favorites from Zerzhov because for me, it's a very, very sexy perfume. Every time, actually I've worn quite a lot of it. If you guys can see, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there we go. I've worn quite a lot of Bouquet Idylle because I think it's just an absolutely beautiful fragrance that kind of teeters the line of being a gourmand without being too sweet, which is why I really love it. Oh yes, it's cinnamon, it's a lot of vanilla, it's very ambery, woody, slightly warm, spicy. It has tonka bean, it has this very beautiful vanilla note. If you like gourmands, but you don't want to smell like a candy shop, like something sickly, headaching sweet, this is the fragrance for you. It is just incredible. Like whenever I smell it, 
I think of a sexy woman. Like I think of a sexy woman on a date, which is how I personally love to wear bouquet d'ile. I wear it on date nights for me and Pierre, if we're going out on a date, I always grab towards bouquet d'ile. That's where I wear it. I don't usually wear it for day-to-day -day use or going to the shop or anything. For me, it's a date night scent. It's really a killer fragrance. A lot of you guys bought it last time, I think, but if you haven't yet, definitely get on this one it is a very sexy fragrance very mysterious it has that really sexy sensual vanilla tonka cinnamon woodiness to it it is beautiful bouquet de lit definitely a recommendation still in my top top favorites from zojov after all of these years next up you know it i'm gonna mention it it is la capitale which again is one of my favorites as you can see from the bottle I absolutely adore this scent and I did mention it I think in my last Zojoff video because it's more of a recent favorite of mine I got it a few months ago and ever since I got it I cannot stop wearing it let me just preface this by saying men go crazy for this if you don't care about men's compliments or whatever that's fine but there is two specific fragrances in this in this video today that men go insane for and La Capitale is one of them ah yeah yeah this is so sexy it's a little bit spicy it has this very nice warm saffron note in here it has some fruitiness it has a sweetness and what i love about it is it has this little leathery touch to it but not in a very uh car leather or handbag leather way it doesn't smell like ombre leather from tom ford or tuscan leather it's not it's not that much it's not that aggressive because for me if you guys watch me you know me I do not like leather whatsoever. If there is leather in my fragrance, I usually don't like it like at all. In La Capitale, it's done to perfection. And how I like to say is it's kind of a mix between a Western fragrance and a Middle Eastern fragrance because there is still those slightly like Oriental notes, those Middle Eastern notes like saffron, like leather, like oud, but it's done in such a, it's done in a westernized way where it's still appealing. Like it's very sexy, it's sweet, it's slightly fruity and very, very intoxicating. Longevity and projection is fantastic. I didn't mention, but also on Bouquet Delay, the longevity and projection is fantastic on that one. And La Capitale, the same. I have had so many compliments with this one, you guys. You cannot even imagine. I like to wear this one on a night out. Uh, I do like to wear it in the day, I'm not gonna lie. And I also like to wear it for like a date night or somewhere where I want to smell really sexy. I will pull for La Capitale. Definitely a 10 out of 10 fragrance that you guys need to have in your collection. Very special scent. So next up is one that I don't think I've ever mentioned, but it's a new favorite. I got it several months ago and I absolutely am in love with it. Remember guys, I have a big collection of my Zerzhoffs. Like I said, there is so many that I have that I didn't include. Like Italica is not in this video. I didn't put, um, which is the other one, Opera, which is another one that I love. I didn't put them in. I just picked my top 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 for women in my opinion so the next one is called 400 this fragrance is very strong very 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 strong you guys and very 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 sexy this is kind of a play between white florals and honey you really smell the honey note in here but you also really smell those white flowers there is a lot of orange blossom a lot of honey, there is some white tobacco, some vanilla, but for me it's really this dance between the white flowers and the honey. They're equally balanced, it's very beautiful, slightly powdery, and very strong. Like I said guys, it's a very, very powerful and very potent fragrance. 400 definitely tends to lean very, very sweet. Once it's on your skin, it becomes really sweet but in the best way possible. There's also a lot of citruses in the top, but I would say overall, it's mostly once it dries down that beautiful blend of white flowers and honey, and it smells so, so, so freaking delicious and sexy and powerful. This is a date night scent. This is a night out scent, 10 out of 10. Longevity and projection, we don't even need to talk about it. It is fantastic. And it's another thing that I really appreciate about Zozoff is that majority majority of the Zerzhoff line, they do last a long time on your skin. And that's really, really rare for a fragrance brand. And I really think that Zerzhoff, not with everything, I'm not going to tell you every single one of their fragrances last 12 plus hours, but majority of them actually do. So that's what I really love as well. 
400 guys check it out you're gonna thank me later for this one i know it's not really talked about a lot on online because it definitely flies more under the radar which i'm not really sure but 400 is wow i finally got cruise del sur 2. i had to have it it was one of actually my first loves from zerzhov and i don't know what took me so long to get a bottle but it's here she's here she's thriving in my collection i've already worn it so many times and I am obsessed. This is definitely one of the most standout fragrances in terms of like creativity, I think, from Zerzhov because it's so interesting. And I have probably never smelled a fragrance similar to Cruz del Sur 2. This for me is so, so, so unique. And I know a lot of you guys already own it, but if you don't, you really need to try it or maybe even buy it. Wow, wow, wow. It smells like an unripe mango. An unripe mango. You know, it has that kind of, I don't want to say tart, but like smelling a tropical fruit that hasn't fully bloomed yet. That's what it smells to me. It smells like an unripe mango. It's a little tangy. It has the beautiful creamy mango note. It has a guava note, and I feel like that's maybe where the unripe fruits, fruit smell comes from, but it is just divine. It then transforms into a more milky and creamy tropical fruity fragrance, which is just delicious. It really smells intoxicating in the best way possible. I Like I said, guys, this is truly, truly a unique scent, something to bring on vacation for sure. I actually unfortunately didn't have it when I went to the Maldives, but if I did, I definitely would have taken Cruz del Sur too because it is really, really special. It immediately evokes memories of cocktails on the beach, of mangoes in the tree, of it evokes memories this scent, especially for me because growing up in Australia, mangoes were literally a part of my life every single day as a child. Uh, cutting a mango, eating it from like this with your hands, getting all sticky. Mangoes were a part of my life, so this immediately evokes the the memories for me. Definitely a 10 out of 10. It has the beautiful tropical fruity notes, very much so. And then it has milky notes, it has some dried fruit, it has some vanilla underneath. And once it's on your skin, it really becomes this tropical, creamy, smooth, delicious, warm, fruity scent that is just Truly, truly intoxicating. Cruz del Sol 2, longevity and projection. Again, I'm not even joking right now. It's also like a 10 out of 10 on my skin personally. Next, Accento Overdose. Again, straight to the point here. One of the best, one of my favorites, one of the strongest floral fragrances that I own. It smells like heaven. Accento Overdose. It's actually much better than Accento. I have Accento as well, and I also really, really enjoy it. But for me, a Cento Overdose, there is no comparison between the two. It's much better here. A beautiful, crisp, green, slightly outerhitic floral scent. There is a lot of jasmine. It, a lot of jasmine, <laughs> let me just say that. There is a lot of jasmine in here, but it has this kind of green, slightly soapy touch to it. So yeah, what you're gonna get when you first spray is a very big burst of jasmine in a slightly green way. There is definitely this soapy, slightly powdery feeling to it. And then it kind of settles down and you feel the sweeter notes coming out, which are underneath like some fruity notes, a little bit of vanilla, but overall it is just a beautiful jasmine scent. Very powerful, very strong. I do feel like this one, unless you're acquainted with uh, jasmine and quite strong floral scents, it might tend to give you a headache. But for me, it's one of my absolute favorites. When I want to wear a floral, when I want to smell feminine and when I want my perfume to last a long time on my skin, a Cento Overdose. I wore it so many times in my life, especially for meetings, especially when I want to smell very classy and beautiful and feminine, I pull for a Cento Overdose. I wear it a lot to meetings because I do think it's a beautifully composed fragrance and it also has everything to back it. It's last long, it's last longing. <laughs> It's long lasting, it smells fantastic, and I think the, like I said, the composition itself is really beautiful. Next up, again, guys, you know my love, Dharma Bianca. I adore Dharma Bianca, I adore her so much. This potentially could be a wedding day scent for me. Like, really, really, I think Dharma Bianca could be in the running for me. It is so beautiful. 
Oh my god, this... I'm gonna say something, but don't take it too seriously, please. But I had a conversation with one of my subscribers about Dharma Bianca, and we were talking about how it definitely pulls a slight... Let me say that again. Slight similarity with Kenzo Flower in the slightest way. In the slightest way, guys, just... Don't, don't run away, don't not try it because I said that. I know a lot of people hate Kenzo flowers, so don't make it deter you from trying this fragrance. But this for me is my mom. This is my, it doesn't smell like a mom or a grandma or anything like that. My mom used to wear uh, Kenzo flower and especially at a period when I was like young, like I was maybe six, seven years old and I really didn't want to go to school. I didn't like school. I wanted to stay with my mom all day. And I would hug her and hug her and I would cry to not go into my school and I would keep on hugging her and the whole day I would have the smell of Kenzo flower on me. So I just, I have memories attached to this fragrance and for me, Dama Bianca definitely has a slight similarity to it, but I much, much, much prefer Dama Bianca by far. The composition is just impeccable, absolutely impeccable. It's a soft musky, slightly sweet. It smells like there is some violet, some musk, some powderiness, some sweetness, a cocooning sweetness that is so comforting and so relaxing. And it's just, oh my God, it's a breath of fresh air, this fragrance. It is just stunning. It really smells like a delicate, feminine, um, innocent woman who's just beautiful and put together and untouched by the world. It really smells like that. It smells like a bride. It smells just beautiful. Dama Bianca, I am very, very passionate about this fragrance because it's easily my top five from Zerzhov, easily. I love it. I think it's one of the best fragrances and definitely try it. Soft, musky, slightly powdery, slightly clean in a way, but it has this sweet, comforting note that is just so beautiful. 10 out of 10 fragrance, Dharma Bianca. And longevity and projection, shockingly for being this more delicate DNA, it lasts forever on your skin, on your clothes. It's gonna leave a little cloud around you. It is just beautiful. Next fragrance, let's try and go a little faster because I really need to pack my suitcase right now. It is Ivory Roots. Ivory Roots, again, you guys have heard me speak tirelessly about this fragrance, but I cannot recommend it enough. And for me, like I said many times, it is one of the best Zerzhovs by far for men and women, for anyone. For me, it's just, just a stunning, stunning fragrance. Ivory Roots, although not stating that it contains vanilla, for me, it smells like a slight vanillic fragrance. It's a beautiful creamy, smooth, spicy, woody vanilla scent. Intoxicating. There is like a slight incense note as well in there. There is a beautiful sandalwood note. There is a lot of spices. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's very, very strong, very spicy and woody and sweet. And it is just wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ivory Root for me is really a show-stopping fragrance. Show-stopping, you guys. When I want to show out, when I want to show off, when I want to be noticed, when I want people to look at me and be like, who the hell is that girl right there? I'm going to wear Ivory Root because for me, it really does smell like money, like luxury, like beauty, like sophistication and class and elegance all in one person. That's what this fragrance smells like to me. So a beautiful, like I said, spiced vanilla with a lot of woodiness, a lot of creaminess, a lot of just, ah, oh, it's just divine. So definitely check this one out. It is one of my top, top favorites since a long time now. Um, but, but yeah, that's it. Ivory Roots. Next up, this one was a shocker to me, an absolute shocker. I was really not expecting this fragrance to be one of my absolute favorites of all time. Not for any reason. This is a collaboration with a very famous uh, rock star called Tony Yomi. And I just didn't really know what to expect, you know. He has a very... I, I'm not really familiar with him himself, so I don't want to say anything that is ignorant or whatever. Um, but I looked at his page and stuff and it looks like he's in heavy metal. So I was expecting something very like, poor, like woody, spicy, boozy. I don't know, something very strong, maybe more masculine. I wasn't really sure. When I smelled it, it was a love at first sniff. 
an absolute love. Pierre and I, we smelled it together. I remember getting the package and we both smelled it and we were like, whoa, 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 what is this? And both of us absolutely love Tony Yomi. We share it. And guys, let me tell you exactly how it smells. I remember getting a comment that it's like, she's clearly sponsored or something like that. Demi, she's clearly sponsored by Zojov so much in every single video because she's always talking about the new releases. No, like, no. I'm gonna talk about what I wanna talk about and what I like for the rest of my life. Nobody is going to tell me what to say. Nobody's gonna tell me what fragrance I should like or I shouldn't like. It just doesn't work like that over here on this channel. So I'm telling you guys the truth. This fragrance is bomb. Oh my God. Really, really, really crazy. And by far one of the best. I actually had a meeting with the founder a few weeks ago. His name is Sergio Momo. And he was wearing Tony Yomi and it was blowing in my face. We were like sitting like, like a table apart and it was blowing and blowing and blowing in my face. And I was like, oh my God, the fragrance is freaking incredible. I swear to you guys, like I couldn't stop telling him how good he smelled when he was wearing this fragrance. So to get onto how it smells, it has this slight passion fruit note in the top. So it kind of catches you with this little passion fruit vibe, but not too much. After you're gonna get a very warm, um, slightly caramelly feeling. Then there is a little bit of patchouli in here and a little bit of leather. But the composition itself, it is this perfect blend between fruitiness, like this tart fruitiness, mixed with the patchouli, mixed with a slight touch of leather and a lot of caramel. It's warm, it's spicy, it's very sexy and absolutely intoxicating. And of course it has a boozy note. So there is a little bit of rum in here, but I just feel like the whole entire scent itself is absolutely intoxicating, truly. Go and try it, go and smell it. Maybe you're not gonna like it, but me, I am obsessed with this one. It is just divine. A fruity, uh, a fruity gourmand patchouli. Wow. Okay, another one to quickly mention is Ouverture. I had to mention it because I love it and I feel like I didn't speak about it forever, but when I go through all of my Zojops, it's still my baby, it's still one that I love. And I have a lot of memories with this one from the Maldives when I went two years ago. No, a year ago, a year ago. For me, this is such, this is such a unique fragrance. Again, like I said about Zojoff. And if you go through a lot of their fragrances, you will find that you cannot really pinpoint their fragrances to another fragrance, if you know what I mean. Like a lot of the time when I smell a niche brand or even a designer brand, you can be like, oh, that fragrance smells like that or that fragrance smells like this. But a lot of the time with Zerjoff, I'm stumped and I'm like, this smells really unique and, and really amazing. And Overture, wow, it is just beautiful. It's sweet, it's warm, it's milky, it's quite figgy. It has this slight figgy touch to it, which usually I am not a fan of fig. I am not a fig girl. Philosophers can go and make me want to gag. I am just not a fig person. But in Ouverture, I really love this kind of, I don't know why, don't ask me why, because it's very strange even to myself, but this fragrance for me just did it. It almost smells like it has this tropical fruitiness in there, maybe some cinnamon, like a slight spiciness, warm, milky, creamy, and woody, like this sandalwood in the base. And it is just very, very, very intoxicating. Ouverture, wow, I miss this one. I didn't wear it for a long time, actually, probably like three months or so. And I absolutely adore it. One of the best unique creations. Very, 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 very unique fragrance from Zerjoff and I absolutely love it. This one, I already mentioned it to you guys. I want to wear this hot, tanned, sexy, sweating on the beach. Like my hair is all sticky and I don't know, I just, I want to wear Ouverture. Like I just want, I want to smell like this in that situation. Does that make any sense? I don't really think so. Next up, we have Cambridge Club. Now, I got this one in Cannes and I don't know why, but it just never, I think because I have so many in the JTC collection that they're all sitting together. And I forgot to kind of pick this one up to mention it in a video, 
but it is truly one of my favorite search offs and I don't know why I didn't mention it. So Cambridge Club, guys, I know so many of you are going to love this fragrance. When I say love, I mean love forever. It's a, it's a relationship. Cambridge Club is just beautiful. For me, this is a very easy fragrance from Zerzhov, as in the DNA, I have to say, is not incredibly unique or uh, crazy or something that has never been done before in my eyes. It is a beautiful, sweet rose fragrance, a very delicious gourmand rose. Think of Montal Intense Cafe, um, uh, Lancome Oud Bouquet, those sort of fragrances. And Honestly, like truly speaking right now, out of all of those type of scents, uh, like Montau Intense Cafe vibe, Cambridge Club is my favorite because for me, it smells much more refined. You have rose, you have caramel, you have vanilla. There is a slight spiciness to it. It is really, really beautiful. And the reason that I wanted to put it in this list is because I know how many of you girls watching me would absolutely love this fragrance because it has that super sexy appealing DNA that so many women love to wear. The sweet rose scent, that very gourmand, delicious, slightly chocolatey, almost um, vanillic caramelized rose. That is Cambridge Club. Longevity and projection again, fantastic, 10 out of 10. It is a fantastic scent. Like I said, there is definitely more unique Zerzhovs, but I have to recommend it because it's done so, so, so well. Cambridge Club. Finally, we have my one of my most, most, most complimented Zerzhovs, which I got more recently. Um, and yeah, it is by far my most complimented, I think. Herba Pure. What up? I took so long to get Herba Pura. I don't know why. I just love the Zerzhovs that I had. I didn't really feel a need for it in my collection. Um, but this is by far my most complimented. Since I got it, I have worn it every single day. I even wore it today, earlier in the day. I have worn Herba Pura every single day since I got it. And not because, okay, I'm gonna say something crazy right now. For me and my nose, I prefer some other Zerzhovs, really. Like I, La Capitale, uh, Dama Bianca, which other one? Bouquet de la Tony Yomi, uh, Cento Overdose. But Herba Pura, I don't think I've had crazier reactions from people than when I'm wearing Herba Pura. Literally guys, every single time I've put it on my skin, somebody has said something to me. Whether it's strangers, Pierre, I went to an event and I got three compliments. I went to a perfume event actually, and I got three compliments wearing Herba Pura. Usually people at perfume events, they don't really say anything. I got three compliments wearing it. I am just shocked with the response of me wearing this fragrance. People love it. The longevity and projection is crazy. It lasts a really long time. I noticed at some point I didn't really smell myself that much anymore and everyone was complimenting me. So this, the fragrance itself, it lasts a huge amount of time on your skin and on your clothes. And the scent itself is beautiful. It is a very, very, very appealing, fruity, soft, musky, floral type of scent. It has citruses in the top. It has a lot of musk, a lot of fruitiness, but in a more subtle way. The fruitiness is not like strawberry, raspberry, bubblegum like that. It's more, it has like a little like sourness to the scent. Like there is a slight sour touch in there. But let me tell you, this is going to attract you so many compliments, especially from men. A very fruity, musky, slightly fresh citrusy scent that is gonna appeal to so many people. Like for me, I'm wearing this one actually at the moment, not as much because it's my personal favorite, but because so many people love it on me. So Herba Pura, 10 out of 10. Don't forget guys, there is my discount code coming up with Zerzhov from the 12th 
to the 16th of April with the code DEMI10. You can get 10% off the whole entire of Zerzhov Universe website plus a free 15 ml perfume, which is pretty nice. So yes, please don't forget, it's only five days. Like always, I really, really worked hard to get this discount code for you guys because I know how many people wanted it and I also really wanted it for you guys. So don't forget about it. I will have all of the details linked down below. Thank you again and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.